Recently, the guys over at Liwell hit me up and asked me if I would be interested in taking their new 17 millimeter T1.9 Cine piece of glass for a test ride for three weeks. <laughs> So if there's anything that I wanna do when it comes to this Liwell 17 millimeter T1.9 is to give you guys a real life uh, example of how it's gonna function out in the real world. That T1.9 is so nice and it's gonna come in handy for blurry backgrounds. So let's see how it functions out here outside. So just taking consideration for this particular video, we are using a variable ND so that we can shoot at a lower T stop. We're going to shoot at that T1.9 because if you're buying this lens, you want it for blurry backgrounds. Now you guys can probably see here in the cell phone camera, the actual like distance in regards to how far away we are from the particular camera. Gosh, that focus is gonna be really hard to kind of keep in regards to that T1.9, but how are we looking? Manual focus is gonna be tricky for a lot of people in regards to kind of getting used to it. Also, one thing that I'm kind of trying to figure out with this particular, I guess, prime lens um, is going to be how is it kind of handling in regards to stabilization as well. Since we have that Panasonic GH5 and we've got IBIS, we're gonna have a little bit more of a fighting chance, but consider it does crop in a little bit. But going handheld, you guys can kind of see over here and even over there, like how are we looking? Okay, so now that you guys have gotten a chance to see some footage, walking around, things like that, let's have a little bit more of a conversation of would this fit in your camera bag in regards to do you need it? As you guys can see, this piece of glass is so itty bitty. And I've got some full frame glass here, Canon's uh, 50 millimeter F 1.8, the nifty 50 that everyone is so familiar with. And the reason that I bring that out is to show you guys side by side how big they are. And then also Canon staple 24 to 105 F 4 compared to it. It's just crazy when you think about size. And then when we think about even other Micro Four Thirds lenses like Lumex 25 millimeter F 1.7. Now this piece of glass, while it looks beefier, this is super lightweight. It's focused by wire and the 17 millimeter, it's actually heavier than this 25 millimeter. So that's pretty nifty and gives you guys a little bit of an example, the 14 to 42 as well, which is basically their kit lens. I mean. I know I keep just saying how tiny it is, but it's tiny. It's actually, I think, uh, six ounces to be exact. And one thing that you can kind of see right out of the box is it definitely has the cinema look and feel. Now I know that you guys are not going to be actually able to do the focus and the aperture pulling, but one thing I find is that it is super smooth. Another thing that's gonna come in handy in regards to this piece of glass is I have a 12 millimeter T2.2, and I find that the 12 millimeter is just a little too wide in a lot of scenarios. Now the 17 millimeter, which is roughly the equivalent of like a 32 millimeter on a full frame, which side note, 35 millimeter on a full frame, it, I really do like shooting 35 and 50. 24 sometimes gets too wide and makes the face kind of do some weird stuff. So that's where I'm saying, this 17 millimeter roughly being a 32 millimeter on a Micro Four Thirds camera is going to give you that roughly 35 millimeter look that you get on a full frame. So the face is gonna look really natural. All that's gonna look great. And you're going to start get some, some you're gonna start entering some compression in the background. We can start get some nice blurry, blurrier like, I mean, everybody wants the blurry bokeh backgrounds and a lot of people talk about it. And if you start to get a tighter, tighter focal length, you're gonna get some more play with that. And if you really wanna see an awesome video about some serious focal lengths, go watch Make Arts Now, where he's using like a roughly 400 millimeter and just the backgrounds are just 
So for this final portion and giving my overall thoughts and opinions in regards to this particular piece of glass, I thought I would film this portion with the Liwall 17 millimeter. Now, I was completely impressed with the footage out of this particular piece of glass. Also, with it being so compact, the focus pulling being nice, the T-stop being smooth, the actual metal itself just being nice and solid compared to something like this Lumex plastic uh, focused by wire, it's just on a different planet than a particular piece of glass like this. Now, if you need autofocus, this don't even look this way. But I will tell you this, if you can master the art of manual focus and get comfortable with it, when you get it, the footage will look oh so sweet. Now, while I do not know the price of this particular glass, I want to roughly say the version that it's actually replicating, but for CineLine, that model, the 17 millimeter F 1.8, I want to say you can get at like $175, let's say. My gut says this piece of glass is going to be anywhere from maybe $200 to $400. That's probably what I'd be willing to pay for it. So we will have to see because I was not actually able to directly find it out there. Like I said, this is a newer model of their old faithful 17 millimeter F 1.8. They decided to go cine mode. And this is my thoughts and opinions in regards to this piece of glass. But as always, I love to give you my thoughts, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like the content I keep creating on this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you to guys over at LyleWow for sending me this piece of glass. It was super exciting to work with you guys, but comments in the comments section below, would you purchase this piece of glass for your Micro Four Thirds cameras? Or camera, I don't know. So a lot of people out there have multiple cameras and then a lot of us only have one. I've got two, three, Shit, I got a lot of cameras. All right, little cameraman. <laughs> that is filming you right now. I'm filming you with one of the new lenses I got sent. What do you think? Say hi, Dada. Hello. You out of here? Taking your camera with you. See ya. <laughs>